Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve most DLL file missing errors you might be receiving in your Windows device. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we are going to just jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one in particular, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome because every time I use Edge or Internet Explorer I always get assaulted by some of the people who really don't like Internet Explorer. But anyway, again, pick whatever browser you want to open up. And I'm going to launch a Google search here. So we're going to type in direct x end user runtime web installer. And you want to hit enter on that. One of the best links that comes up should be for Microsoft domains, especially if you do not have any ads being displayed. Please make sure you're downloading it from Microsoft directly. I would recommend you do that. If you're downloading it from anybody other than Microsoft.com and it's not a verified publisher, I would not recommend installing it. But anyway, it appears we have a couple of different options we can choose from. So I'm going to just select the first one here, the first and best result. And you can also get to this point by going on Microsoft's own website and searching it up. But I find by going and conducting a simple Google search, you can get here a little bit quicker. So it's going to say DirectX and user runtime web installer. Again, depending on when you're viewing this video, it might look a little bit different. But this is generally the look and feel of what you're going to be going through. I want to select the right language here. And before I click download, I just want to go over underneath system requirements. You can see Windows XP Service Pack 2 is the oldest version of the Windows operating system that is allowed. For this, as well as Windows Server 2003 Service Pack 1, anything older than that will not be able to run this web installer. There might be older versions of DirectX available online through other third-party sites, but for 99% of you, that really shouldn't be a problem. And if we go underneath details, we can see when the file was published. Even though it's a little bit old, you do not have to worry. It'll still work and be compatible with Windows 10. And the file size itself is only about 286 kilobytes, which is very tiny. So it appears we're good to go. And I'm going to just select the download button. And underneath Microsoft recommends, I'm going to unselect this MSN default homepage. You can always have the liberty of deselecting or selecting either one of these if you wanted to. I personally would just click on no thanks and continue after you've unselected those options. And like I said, it's pretty small, a very quick download. I'm going to open this up like you would any download from the internet. And it should say user account control, which you like this app to make changes to your device. You want to make sure that it says Microsoft Corporation for Verify Publisher if you have user account control enabled. If you don't see anything, I'd recommend you enable user account control, but that is a whole different topic for another day. So I'm going to select yes. It's going to say welcome to setup for direct X. After you've read through or looked through the end user license agreement, you want to click on I accept the agreement. And then you'll click on the next button. I'm going to unselect the install the Bing bar. I don't feel like that's important for this video. And I just thought you guys should be aware that you have the option to uncheck that. And now I'm going to select next again. It's going to begin installing the component. So just be patient. It will take a couple moments to run here. And you can see it says installing components. Download size about 44 megabytes. I'm going to select next again. This will take a moment, so again, just please be patient. Okay, it should say installation complete. The components installed are now ready for use. Recommend clicking on this finish button at the bottom of this window. Now I'd recommend also restarting your computer and hopefully any of the programs or applications you were getting this error alert from have been resolved. Um, this probably won't work for everybody 100%, 
but for a good vast majority of you it should resolve the problem. So as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.